r slash ask reddit what's something that's completely legal but that pisses you off when you see someone doing it people that stop or hang out at choke points i.e doors ends of escalators etc they're just defending the objective ducking campers it's a legitimate strategy yep they have no situational awareness no awareness of what's happening around them but i feel like we all screw up occasionally like that one time i asked a question right before the teacher was going to let us out of class playing a video or song loudly on their phone or tablet in a confined public place like the subway doctor's waiting room etc it's a policy at my job transit bus driver that we ask people to shut off their music as it can be distracting to the driver and if they refuse to comply we can kick them off the bus. If they refuse to get off the bus we can then call the police. Crazy but I've seen it happen. Bus rider here. I have seen that situation many times. It isn't so much that they want to listen to their music out loud. They usually don't have headphones. It's the fact that someone is telling them to do something and that offends them to the point where they would rather get arrested for making their point than following someone's orders. Cutting in line. Duck those people. In college a friend of mine was jailed for selling pot. We went to visit him in jail fairly regularly. It was really depressing. Seeing lots of children there visiting their dads. The visiting hours were limited and if you didn't get in by the last 30 minute session you couldn't visit at all. One time we were cutting it pretty close to the end when three guys walk in. They can plainly see that they won't make it in time so they cut to the front of the line. In front of maybe a dozen groups of mostly women. Children and us. Three college guys going to see their friend. If we had called the line cutters out. The guards would have immediately kicked all of us out for causing a disturbance. We were very pissed. But had to take it like little beaches. I'd never felt like more of a card in my life. But I knew that practically I had to swallow this in order to visit my friend. When they called the next session of visitors the line advanced, and the guard stopped the line cutters. She told them how dare they cut in, right in front of her desk and she hadn't seen them waiting for the last hour like everyone else. She instantly tells them to leave. They of course plead ignorance and insist on staying when more guards come to back up their colleague and these guys have to slink out of the jail. It was the most satisfying instance of line cutting justice I had ever seen. Now my friend has been out of jail for a few years and doing very well. One time at Six Flags Great America when we got our first chance to ride Goliath someone cut just about everyone in line. Not flash pass not anything. My family and I reported them to the ride operator and the person got banned for 10 years and was told that any violation of the ban and he would be arrested on counts of trespassing. That is a pretty severe treatment. Guess he's another amusement parks problem now. People who bring 30 items to the express line of 15 items or less. They're usually the same people who pay in pennies and nickels too. In Texas I got to watch this at an incredibly busy Walmart. Man pushes up cart with 30 items. Cashier. That is more than 20. Man. So. Cashier. Find another line. Man. But I already waited in this one. Cashier. Not as long as you should have. I ain't ringing you out. This is the express lane and you knew it. Find another line. This continued for a few minutes until the man ended up ditching his cart and leaving. It was delightful. Worked at a grocery store as a teenager. One day a woman comes through the express line with two full carts of groceries. I politely tell her that she will need to move to a different line. She argues. I remain polite. We go back and forth a little bit and eventually she asks to talk to my supervisor. My supervisor comes over and tells me to let the woman through the line. When I finally finished bringing up all of her groceries she pulls out her checkbook and takes another 5 minutes to fill in her check. Every customer that came through my line after that obviously complained. I pointed out my supervisor and told them to go talk to her. Every single one stopped and complained to my supervisor. Apparently she didn't like having everyone complain to her and she came over and yelled at me later. Fortunately I was never put on the express lane again. Clickbait articles. Misleading thumbnails. Fake news stories. My favorite is in the last 0.01 seconds before you click the web page jumps and you end up clicking on an ad instead of your intended link. Patent trolls suck pretty hard. With some notable exceptions. It's completely legal. My favorite is Nathan Mivold. 
the founder of Intellectual Ventures. They literally buy patents with no intention of using them because the patent may be worth more in the future. It's the intellectual equivalent to a first post, but you get paid for doing it. Not putting away your shopping cart. It's a 20 second journey. How important is your life that you can't take half a minute to put your cart away? This is my biggest pet peeve. The worst is when they leave it in the parking spot next to the ducking buggy corral. It's another 10 feet goddamn IT. I'm gonna have a lie down. People who leave it in the middle of the parking spot next to theirs. Thus making the spot unusable. Cause no way am I getting out of my car to move it first. While I was walking to a store I saw a woman push her trolley to behind someone else's car while that person was in their car and about to reverse. So I pushed it back behind her car. She was furious. Elephant races. You know, when a semi truck tries to overtake another semi truck, but doesn't have the power to pass while remaining under their mandated speed limit. So the two just kind of exist side by side at 55 miles per hour, while the rest of the highway jams up behind them for the remainder of eternity. I hate this so much, all because they are going one mile per hour faster. Argue that freedom of speech means I should listen to his stupid opinion without saying anything. If you have the freedom to say it, I have the same freedom to oppose it. It's amazing how many people don't understand this. Walking slowly in a street. Extra points for being in a group blocking the whole width. Extra extra points for stopping dead without checking behind you. More points for walking out of a door in front of somebody and stopping dead. Or overtaking somebody then walking slowly. Radio DJs playing songs with a police siren in the background. Add tire screeching and car honking. Nothing better during your morning commute than to think you're about to get into a car accident. Parents who smoke near their children are driving me crazy. We've got laws against it in cars. Being a dong about not waiting. If there is an established line somewhere, respect people's time. It doesn't matter if you have less items to buy than the other person. You don't know if the person in front of you is in a hurry or not and there's no reason to think that you somehow deserve to save time more than they do especially if the place is busy and you know thief been waiting forever. So don't ducking cut in line without asking. I think it is so rude when people just proclaim they are going to do it in just getting a coffee. So, steps in front. For some reason I get more upset when it happens to other people than when it happens to me. I refuse service to people who cut in line. During Christmas, the line at my store was literally front of the store all the way to the back of the store. At least 80 people waiting in line. Or to put it in a different perspective, our sales goal for that day was 50k. We made 95k that day. I got in an argument with a customer that tried to cut the line and justify it and I had to bring the manager in to get him to shut the duck up because he just could not understand for the life of him why I would refuse to serve him when he's 80. Other people are waiting their turn so why should he be allowed to skip it just because he only has a few items. One time this other guy cut in front of this older woman and I got so pissed off at him that I just grabbed his items and put them an hour go back at's for the employees to put back on the seller's floor and I told the woman to come put her stuff on the counter. You can imagine how well he handled that. I didn't even grant him the satisfaction of acknowledging his rage. I just called the manager over and let them deal with it and ignored him and apologized to the old lady. When people purposely take advantage of old people and just walk all over them I get really pissed off. That shit doesn't fly with me. Church groups leaving a tip at a restaurant with a fake dollar bill that has paid for this with the power of God on the back. Sorry mom, but the power of God won't keep the lights on. People actually do this? More than you'll ever believe. Nowadays they have on that looks like a $20 bill bent over. Putting your bag on the seat next to you when the transport is crowded. Come to London. Take the tube. You'll love how we deal with people who do that. Ask them to move the bag. Tut, casually sit down on said bag anyway. People not monitoring their children in public, especially when walking through parking lots. Don't walk ahead of them and hope they are safely staying close and right behind you. Chances are they aren't. Hold their hand have them keep a hand on the cart. You are the one visible in a rear view mirror. How about the ones who let their 4 year old run around crowded restaurants unattended? Oh. 
he's just saying hi to everyone. So damn dangerous and I'm sure that in the US, if their little angel slams into a server and someone, child, gets burned by hot coffee, then the restaurant will take the blame. This bugs me more than just about anything else I see in public. Getting angry at an airline because it's snowing and your flight was delayed. Do you think they are delaying it for fun? They are delaying the flight because they can't land the plane. Right? Some people just lose all sense of human decency and perspective when a flight is delayed. I work at an airport in a northern US city, and not a month of winter goes by where we don't have some jackass dragged off by the Leos because some customer decides the appropriate response to a delay is to grab or swing at one of my CSRs. Do they think we like being stuck at work for upwards of 20-30 hours? Either dealing with subhuman customers or freezing our asses off out on the ramp? We just can't risk a plane full of people plowing into the ground at a few hundred miles an hour because it can't find the runway or the control surfaces I stop. That would be expensive. The guy clipping his toenails across from me on the trolley yesterday. Edit. Where I live we call the tram the trolley. Also edit. Metro. Subway. Etc. Trolley is what we call shopping carts so I just got an image of an adult sitting in the child seat of a shopping trolley clipping his nails. Cause with extremely bright lights that seem like high beams. Seriously is that necessary? Oh man. There was this one time that I was driving at night and at a red stop light. Then this car comes up in front of me and stops at the red light on the other side with his bright ass high beams on. So what do I do? I flick my high beams on and off to let them know that theirs was on. What happened next was unspeakable. My entire vision was filled with the fluorescent bright whiteness of a thousand suns. It turned out they turned theirs on for real. Yeah I don't like that either. Ducking data caps. Only thing worse is unlimited data caps with 200 GB limit. That's not unlimited. Treating wait staff like shit. Not just them, but people being shitty to anyone. Bus drivers, cashiers, Uber driver, or even just a random stranger walking down the road. When people don't clean up after themselves in cafeterias dining halls. Like, would it kill you to take your plate to the washing station? Why are you making someone else do it? I always assume those people grew up with a maid or something tbh. Which obviously isn't bad. But somebody should have taught you down the line that the world is not full of free maids. Honestly, this is so petty of me. But if someone is driving around in poor conditions that is. Cloudy rain. Icy. Fog. And especially white out snow. Turn your ducking lights on. I don't care if you can see. We need to see you. I'm looking at you. White grey cars that blend into the road. Nothing makes me rage more than driving in unsafe road conditions. Going slow and ensuring I do my part to be safe. Stay alert for others and then see some turd driving along with their lights off in low visibility weather. I do a lot if light flashing. Which unfortunately, is illegal. Too long didn't read. Turn your headlights on even when you can see. It's for visibility purposes. People who grab something off the shelves in a store. Decide later they don't want it. And then just throw it on whatever random shelf they happen to be standing by. Pretty shitty attitude when said item is supposed to be kept refrigerated and you see it among cleaning products. People who wait in a queue for ages to pay for something and only start getting their purse money together right at the point of payment. Seriously, you've been in line for 10 minutes. You could have spent that time counting your pennies out. Same goes for cash machines. I never understand what takes so long. When my neighbor leaves her dog outside all day when she's gone. When she comes home with a guy because she doesn't want the dog bothering her. Then all night so she can sleep. The poor dog cries all day and night. Just sits out there wailing away. I've offered to babysit her whenever the lady is out. But she hasn't knocked on my door yet. Putting GoFundMe pages up to beg for money. Some kid just this morning put one up for $1500 for a laptop because his got stolen. I get it. You need a laptop. Do you need $1500 for a laptop? Are you not working? Those people who make big internet news stories by making someone else's life a hell. Like that dude about a month ago that paid for his speeding ticket entirely in pennies. Like he was just a total dong about it cause he thought he didn't deserve the ticket or something so he took two big buckets full of pennies and dumped them on the poor lady's desk. 
Like come on dude. Don't do that to her. She wasn't the one that gave you the ticket you're just making her life harder for no reason. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.